Hey friends, it's Jenna, also known as Empty Hanger. Today I'm gonna share a realistic day as far as what happens when I get my items home from the thrift store to when I get it listed on Poshmark. And I'm gonna also do a haul of everything that I picked up. I spent about two hours in Goodwill yesterday and the first step is gonna be take everything out of the bag, hang it, and measure it. So I'm gonna set you down, you can watch me do that and I'll check in for the next step. I have my Ikea bag full of thrifted inventory. I'm gonna go ahead and hang it on this rolling rack that I have set up. And I always have some hangers up here ready to go. I like to use these thin velvet hangers just because they grip the clothes well, they don't fall off, you can fit a bunch on there. And then right next to me on a rolling cart, I have my notebook where I'm gonna write my measurements. And I have um, some scissors to cut off all the Goodwill tags. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars that was step one and I timed myself and it took me nine minutes and 52 seconds to do all of that so it took me less than 10 minutes to hang everything cut everything off and measure it so pretty quick for that and then the next step is going to be to steam everything so I get asked all the time if I wash everything that I buy at the thrift store the answer is no I do not I actually steam everything and it's um, scientific fact that steaming actually kills more bacteria than washing something I will wash something if it has a stain it's dirty or it smells so this stuff was all in really good condition there is one thing I noticed I'm going to have to take a sweater shaver to and I'll show you that when I go through the haul but um, steaming everything you know makes it look fresh but it also kills any bacteria so I steam every single thing that I buy and it doesn't take long at all I have a super high powered steamer I recently upgraded to a Jiffy steamer from a Conair one and the Conair was great but the Jiffy steam stuff so fast so um, I'm gonna do the haul before I start steaming so let's go ahead and get into the items I picked up 19 items and I organize it by category so I'll put like the tops together the long sleeves the sweaters the dresses it just makes it easier when listing to have like categories together so we'll start off with the first piece which is this sleeveless turtleneck um, it's a tunic top so it's a longer length top it is by Puella from Anthropology, and I really liked the black and white stripe it's classic I'll probably list this around $35 Next up, we have a brand I don't always pick up. It's BDG, which is an Urban Outfitters brand. However, I really like this top. It is a super long plaid flannel, and it basically goes all the way to the ground like a maxi, but it's split on the sides, so it opens up. I think that'll look cool with some skinny jeans. I'll probably list that around $30 or $35. And then next up we have a very wrinkly chambray top. So it's a chambray baby doll top. It has pockets on the side and it is by Free People. And this one is Free People size large, if that will focus. Free People size large. And I'll probably list this one around $35. Next up is another anthropology piece. I really like selling this brand. It is left of center and they make great basics. This one's just a cold shoulder cut out longer length top. It's got the high low hem and a great bright red color. Another anthropology top. This one is by Postmark. So the little postage stamp is Postmark. Black and white cap sleeves and it's just kind of a basic summer top. I'll probably list this one 30 to $35. Another chambray top, I love picking up chambray, especially by this brand, Cloth and Stone. They sell it at Anthropology as well as a bunch of other places, but this is just a cap sleeve chambray button down shirt. $35 on that one. And then next is Nike, which I am pretty picky with the Nike that I pick up. This is a half zip 
um, Nike Pro long sleeve top. So there's the Nike Pro. It's a size small. I like picking these up in the prints. I've never sold the black one before, but I figured you can't go wrong with black. And it also has the thumb hole, which is nice. Okay, next is a Lucky Brand, and it's a 3X. So I love picking up Lucky Brand plus size. I'll pick up Lucky regular size as well, but I pretty much always pick up the plus size. It does really well, and this is a beautiful lace-up top. I'll probably list this one at $35. Another chambray button-down shirt, and again, this one is by Cloth & Stone. And I really like the back on this one. It has the split back at the hem, so $35 on that one. This next brand, I have only found once before. It's not showing up great on camera. It's a really thick black pullover. It's a scuba thick knit, and it is by Everlane, which is a great brand. Always pick that up if you find Everlane. I've only sold their jeans before, but I'm gonna look up comps on that, maybe 40 or 45. And then we have a beautiful crochet boho sweater, super oversized, super pleated, and it is by Free People. So free people, this one, I believe it's a size extra small, small, and I just really like that. It's sheer. I'll probably list this at $45. It's a really nice piece. And then the next item is a cabbie, and it's a size medium. Cabbie, I don't always pick up, but I sold this, act this sweater before, the exact sweater, and this is the older label, but it's just a great basic open duster cardigan, chunky knit, and I looked them up, and they are still selling for about $35 to $40. And I'm going to list that now. Even though it's a sweater, I list everything year-round. And then next up we have a Eileen Fisher piece, and this is an extra large Eileen Fisher. It's a cowl neck pullover. It's almost sweatshirt material, and it's got the pouch pocket in the front. I really like this piece. I'm definitely going to list this on Poshmark um, because I think Eileen still does well if it's this more athleisure, kind of trendier style. I'll probably list this at $40 or $45. And then on to the dresses. So this is a sheath dress. And what's really nice about this is the back. So it's kind of got a scoop back. It has the bow on it. And the brand is Maeve from Anthropology. I'll probably list that at um, maybe $45 on that one. And then onto this J. Crew black label, so a little bit more current of a label. I don't know if this is a cover up or a tunic top. It's like a shorter length white gauzy material. And then it has this beautiful embroidery with tassels. So I'm going to look up the style and see what it is, but maybe $40 on that one. Okay, this next dress is a beautiful floral off the shoulder. So this will actually sit off the shoulder and it's just a loose swingy material. And the brand, I was actually not familiar with this brand. It is called Alley Hop. So we'll see if that will focus. Alley Hop, but it was new with tags and it is an anthropology tag. So now I know this is an anthropology brand and it retailed for $78. So I'm gonna look it up. I'll probably list that one maybe at $50. Okay, this dress I love and I couldn't pass up because it's a great skater style, black and white, kind of retro floral print, and it's actually a vintage Betsy Johnson. So this is an older Betsy Johnson label. The newer label's pink, but this is an older style. Now this is the one I mentioned. It does need some trimming or sweater shaving. It has a few little kind of picks like that, so I will um, you know, take care of that obviously before I photograph it, but I thought it was still worth it to pick up just because it's a really cool style. I'll probably list that at $50. And then on to this next piece, which was balled up and shoved inside a coat. So someone was probably trying to hide it, but I found it because I looked through absolutely everything at the thrift store. And it is a show me your moo moo romper. So it's a crossover front. It's got these adorable shorts with ruffle trim. And the nice thing about show me your moo moo is if you look on the tag, it says the style name. So if you just go into the inside care label, flip it on the back and it says it is the Riri Romper. So you can see that down there. So I'll just search Riri Romper and look until I find that print, but maybe 50 or $60 on that one. Okay, next up, we have a Romper, another Romper. This brand is Some Days Lovin'. I don't always pick it up, but I do like it. It's sold sometimes at Urban Outfitters. It's an Australian brand, I believe. And this romper has some cool split sleeves, but it has button cuffs. So it's open. It is a 
v-neck front and then just really loose kind of gauzy shorts and I'll probably list this around 35 or 40 dollars so um, that is the haul that's everything I picked up uh, mostly tops and dresses this time I didn't find any bottoms I didn't find any shoes so I am really happy with what I grabbed and now I am going to take my jiffy steamer turn that on and steam everything <laughs> and it took me almost 22 minutes to steam so again it was 19 items in about 22 minutes and honestly like a few of those were harder to steam you probably saw me um, steaming from the inside on like the chambray tops and the dress stuff that's harder to steam I like to steam from the inside because you can kind of pull the fabric taut as you're steaming so it helps to steam it a little faster so now that I'm done steaming it's time to take photos before I get started with pictures I do take all my photos on my iPhone I have an iPhone 8 plus it's just easiest for me to take the photos in square mode because that is how Poshmark likes you to post them so I don't have to do any editing later and you're gonna see I'm gonna take pictures of everything just on a hanger against the wall sometimes I use a mannequin just depending on the item but for this stuff I'm just gonna go through it pretty quickly and use a hanger <music> It took me just under 22 minutes to photograph those 19 items and I got a quick phone call while I was in the middle of it so um, a little over a minute an item which is not bad at all it goes pretty fast especially with the hanger and then the last step that I have is to bag everything and that's how I store it for inventory so I do have an inventory storage video I'll link above but I will show you real quick and time myself how long it takes to bag those 19 items and put them away. I have everything that I need around me. I stuffed all the clothing in the same order I photographed it in. I have my clear plastic bags next to me. I have my folding board, which is how I'm gonna fold everything. And then I have my pre-numbered inventory labels. This is what I'm going to stick on the bag. And I've already predetermined what numbers I'm gonna use. And I also know that I'm going to be listing or putting everything into box letter D. So I have it open next to me. So as soon as I bag the item, I can just throw it in there and that way it will be put away and ready to ship as soon as I sell it. So let's go ahead and bold everything up.
bagging took me 15 minutes, um, just under 15 minutes, and this is what it looks like once it's in the box. So again, I put the numbers towards the outside so when I'm flipping through, I can easily find the item that I'm looking for. And then I have everything written down in my notebook, so I just need to list all these items. It has the inventory number, um, the name, the size, and then the measurements that I need. There you have it, my whole process from taking it out of the bag from the thrift store to getting it put away in my inventory storage system. System, and that took me a little bit over an hour. I do have listing left to do, obviously, and I have 19 items, about five minutes an item for me to get it listed on Poshmark, and that's about an hour and a half of work, so two and a half ish hours of getting everything prepped and listed and then obviously like I said I spent two hours shopping so um, a little over four hours of work put in there and I love what I do every single day I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a glimpse into it maybe it helped you a little bit with your process oh if you have questions or if you um, want to know specifics about the supplies I use so if you want to know like which steamer I use what rolling rack etc I always get a lot of questions about that I do have a link in the description box down below to my Amazon store and in the Amazon store I link every single thing that I use if I order from Amazon which is where I order most of my supplies so you can check that out if you're looking for anything for your reselling business and for my Poshmark closet also link down in the description box below if you're looking to shop with me but yeah I appreciate you watching I hope this was helpful if it was please give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video Bye.